buttons are also re replaceable with the Texado studs. And this is an example of a Texado uh, front placket. You see how it is? Chap chap, yes. A good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, from wherever you're watching from. Welcome to my channel. And in today's video, we are looking into fashion journey. Our fashion journey will be categorized in chapters, of which I will begin straight away with chapter number one. That is the garment details. Did you know what garment details are? Or what are the features in the garment details? If you didn't know, then this chapter is for you. So we begin with the plackets. Do you know what a placket is? If you didn't know, plackets are finished slits or first opening designed on all types of garments, bodies, uh, sleeves, skirts, jackets, dresses, pants, etc. Uh, plackets can be of any length and with this, with the rounded pointed styles or blunt ends generally in simple terms in a modern usage the placket often refers to the double layers of fabric that holds the button and button holes in a shirt plackets can also be found at the neckline of a shirt the cuff of a sleeve or at the waist of a skirt or pair of trousers so ladies and gentlemen plackets are almost <laughs> always used to allow clothing to be removed easily but are sometimes used purely as a design element yeah i agree with this and you have to also agree with this that plackets sometimes are used as a design elements even me i always use them as a design element and have not got any problem with that then also in modern plackets often contain fabric facings or attached bands to surround and reinforce fasteners such as the buttons and button holes uh, also snap buttons or the zippers so ladies and gentlemen just the brief intro about plackets and i'll be sharing with you also still the types of plackets did you know the types of plackets or you just see them on shirts or you just enjoy manufacturing them so if you didn't know the types of plackets here are some of them i bring you the regular shirt plackets of which the regular shirt plackets i have still categorized them into numbers so number one we have the front placket the front placket is the most popular type of a shirt placket it has a very business like dressy appearance the placket fabric is folded back outside and soon to the rest but it can also feature a separate piece of fabric to create the same look so get to know and this is an example of a, a front placket this one as you see how it is so that's the front placket <clears throat> number two of our regular shirt plackets is the no placket mm, sometimes people call them the french front the french front or the no placket this is a sophisticated shirt shirt placket that creates a clean one piece fabric look because the placket fabric is folded back and sewn from the inside then the plain design looks very elegant but it is often used on casual shirts and it might be a bit tricky to iron this kind of a shirt placket where you cannot reach the under side but it is nothing a true gentleman could not wear and this is an example of a no placket or french front this is how it looks so how beautiful it is you apply it on your cloth or in your project you will really see the nice outcome and you will continue manufacturing them in this format ladies and gentlemen the third the third uh regular shirt placket that i have in my list we have the the covered plackets sometimes some people call it a uh, fly front fly front has an additional piece of fabric to cover the buttons below below it a covered shirt placket is a very stylish 
a stylish choice and one of the most formal options even though it has it is not i mean even though it is not very common it gives you the cleanest look you can achieve due to its formality this type of shared plaquettes is often associated with the texado events yeah, that is it i tell you earlier that it's associated with the texado events and this is how it looks this is a cover uh a cover placket or you can say uh you can call it a fly front this is the example of a fly front you see how beautiful it is most especially i see even just at the image the way how it has been designed it really gives me a feeling that if you make a cloth in this format your clients are going to fall in love and adore it much than they i mean much than the way you were ex you expected them to to love this cloth so so uh, also uh, in our among our regular plaquettes we are seeing number four as the pop over placket or sometimes you can call it a half pointed placket this sporty and informal shirt placket is often used on casual shirts the fabric is also folded back to create the front placket look but the lacing part is shorter and features only three buttons comfortable uh, comfortable to put on just pop the shirt over your head and close the three buttons this is how you I, I hope you have seen even how it is you see the three layout of the button you leave this one at the extreme end but from the placket you have this one button two three and it has this point so if you make it also it's good actually i think uh, you can design it on the polo shirts and the tannic some tannic clothing you can they can work well <laughs> ladies and gentlemen the last regular shirt placket i have in my list is the pleated texado front the pleated texado front this type of a texado shirt placket features a small fabric folds on the shirt front and extravagant texado or a classic black choice may complement the bold appearance of the shirt similar to the plain texado front the top four buttons are also re replaceable with the texado studs and this is an example of a texado uh, front Placket. you see how it is these are strips as you can see these are strips or the pleats that help in in giving a texado uh, shirt a nice look as you have seen <laughs> last type of a placket is the slit opening with the placket as you can see in these images this one is an example of uh, of uh, a slit opening with the plaquettes you see how it they are so this is it all about the plaquettes so ladies and gentlemen i allow me go to uh detail number two of of our garments so another detail that you will find in a garment is a pleat what a pleat